Hi, I'm Gavin Hunter from Gilbert Rugby South Africa. Today I'm going to give you a brief description about our match and training rules. Gilbert Rugby is a dedicated team of product engineers to ensure the constant development of our product, specifically the rugby ball. This continuous development program ensures a constant improvement in development, in accuracy, and most of all, consistency of the product. So now being the number one ball in the world, we have quite a comprehensive range to our balls, specifically broken up into two categories, training balls and match balls. We have three types of balls in our training range, VX300, Xenon, and Mercury Pro. Essentially these three balls are just different quality of ball and obviously have different price points. The one I have today is a Mercury Pro. This is your top of the range training ball. What constitutes this ball, firstly, is the grip. This is a standard grip which has plus minus anything from 40,000 to 70,000 pimples on the ball. This allows for improved grip when playing with the ball. Next main feature of the ball is that it is hydratic. Essentially what this means is that the ball, once it is manufactured, is sprayed with a laminate which allows the ball to be more durable and the stitching to last longer when, once the ball gets wet. Next feature of the ball is on the inside of the ball, each panel has a three poly cotton and cotton laminate which essentially provides backing cloth to the ball, provides weight to the ball, and it provides durability and strength to the ball. The next main feature, and specifically about a training ball, is the valve. The valve on a training ball is situated in the middle of one of the panels. What this means is that one of the panels are going to be heavier than the other three panels. So what that means for your hooker or for your fly-off, when you kick the ball, one panel is going to be heavier and therefore when it rotates, it will fall to the side. Each ball is hand stitched in our factories and is available in size 3, 4 and 5. Last point about the ball, it is IRB approved, which essentially means International Rugby Board, the governing body for the sport, approves this ball as a quality product. Okay, well that was our training balls. Now it's time for our match balls. And there's a significant difference between our match balls and our training balls. Okay, there are two match balls, top of the range, called the Virtua and the Synergy, that are slightly different to the rest of the match balls. And it's more specifically just to do with the grip of the ball. Whereas your other balls have the standard grip, this ball has a multi-matrix 3D grip. What this means is, instead of just a standard dimple going around the ball, this has three or four different types of dimples ranging from short to high to star shaped. Essentially what this means for you players is that it's the perfect balance of grip when passing the ball as well as when trying to kick and the aerodynamics of the ball. Next main feature about this ball is the valve of the ball. On the training ball the valve was on one of the panels. On the match ball the valve is on the seat. What this means is that the weight of the valve is stretched across the ball and not specifically on one panel. What this means for your kicker is that the ball has true flight and will therefore travel further through the air. Another unique feature about the Gilbert match ball is the three ply, coarse spun, polyester and cotton laminate. Now that essentially is your backing cloth behind each panel inside the ball. So just like your training ball, Inside is the backing cloth, which allows for strength and for weight of the ball. This is a more refined kind of cotton and poly cotton, which creates extra durability, extra strength and a balanced weight. Another feature of this ball is that it has an air lock bladder. What this means is, in your training balls, the, the rubber used is slightly porous, which allows air to escape at the top. But in the match balls, it's an air-locked bladder. Just like our training balls, the match ball is also hand-stitched. Every single match ball from Gilbert Rugby is pre-kicked. What this means is, each ball is kicked 100 times in our factory by a machine, which allows the ball to test the ball if it's got its durability and the quality that Gilbert provides to the market. Another important thing about match balls and training balls is the inflating of the balls. Mm -hmm. All balls have to be inflated 
between 9.5 and 10 PSI. If you do not flat it within those requirements, you will not get the performance out of the ball you require. Two unique features of our ball is our trim of the ball as well as the valve of the ball. So the trim, which we call the ellipses of the ball, which go around each panel, essentially creates a framework for the ball, so it creates a better visual aspect to the person playing with the ball, but more specifically, it allows an aiming point for kickers. When they put it on their team, they line up the ellipses in the direction they want to kick the ball. That is a trademark of Gilbert Rugby. The valve is a patented valve system only used by Gilbert. This is what ensures we are a world leader in rugby. So the purpose of this presentation is for you players and you coaches. What we need to understand is, specifically for certain positions, i.e. your hooker and your fly-off, they need to train with a match ball during training, not with a training ball. The training ball essentially is a cheaper ball and therefore it's more cost effective for you guys to use. But to get the required results you want from your fly off and from your hooker, you have to use the correct match ball. Reason being is because of the valve on the match ball, it allows for further distance to fly through the air with the aerodynamics. So if your kicker your fly half or your scrum half or your fullback use a training ball to practice with they're not going to achieve the same results they would with a match ball and therefore training with a one ball but then using a different ball in a match you have different variations and that will unsettle your players so please use the correct ball when training okay so that's the presentation of a training versus a match ball from gilbert rugby south africa if you have any other queries about rugby balls or any of our other products within our range, please contact us on 011-719-9990, our head office, or visit us on www.gilbertsa.co.za, our website. And alternatively, follow us on Facebook at Gilbert Rugby South Africa or on Twitter at Gilbert SA. Thanks.